Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about ticker symbol HCMC, one of the OTC traded micro micro penny stock. The stock value is 0.0019. But the funny thing is the stock is down by 50% in today's trading session. There's a lot of hype about this stock. There are a lot of people talking about this stock and there is a huge, huge volume in this stock. This is a micro penny stock, micro cap penny stock, but their uh, market cap is 482 million million dollars as you can see previous close was 0.0025 the today's range is 0.0015 to 0.0021. The company does have revenue. Company's revenue positive. Q3 revenue is 3.35 million. Q2 revenue is 3.31 million. Q1 revenue is 4.04 million. Whereas their net income in Q1 2020 was negative $691,000 in Q2, negative $818,000 in Q3, negative $1.3 million. In this particular video, I'll be talking about three things. Why HCMC keeps falling today what causes this 50% drop the second thing is two big big catalysts that I want to share with you that can double the price of HCMC and the third thing is what is next for HCMC what is the price prediction for HCMC now I am not a financial advisor but I have done a lot of research around this because I got a lot of comments from subscribers and viewers so take it as a grain of salt do not consider this as a buy or sell advice also, consider subscribing to my channel because I do a lot of research and analysis about stock and share with you all. Now, click on the like button because it took me a few hours to search more about its CMC that is trading at 0.0018, negative 52%. And there is a possibility, very risky play, very risky play, but there's a possibility that people can double their money if they want to wait and patiently and see how it is playing out now if you invest i would highly recommend this is a very risky play so do not invest a lot of money only invest whatever you're willing to lose now without further delay let's take a look at the five day chart for hcmc the stock was trading as high as 0 0.0040 and it dropped kind of a staircase as you can see right here there was a little bit of a support at 0.0038 dropped 0.0030 dropped 0.0025 and then it dropped to 00 0.0018 now considering this there are lots of uh, stuff going on with HCF, HCMC one of the big big thing is they have a lawsuit going on with Philip Morris because of the patent infringement that HCMC claimed for Philip Morris that they have used in their product IQOS and that's the whole hype is all about a lot of people are talking about the, there is a perception that there could be some sort of settlement where the where the HCMC can get all, some of the lump sum amount. Uh, maybe they get some royalty for the product that uh, Philip Morris has for IQOS. Um, so there are a couple of things. But what happened today is uh, actually yesterday, Philip Morris is looking to wash its hands uh, for the lawsuit and they're not ready for the settlement at least at this moment and that's how it usually works I'm not a lawyer but I have done some research yesterday it filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit with the with whatever HCMC has filed within the U.S. District Court of the Northern District District of Georgia Atlantic Division Division in that motion, Philip Morris said that Healthier Choice Management does not really have grounds for its patent infringement lawsuit outlining the nature of the patent for an electronic combustion inducing pipe. Philip Morris says that IQOS device does not function the same way. Now, this calls question for the mechanism by which IQOS heat not burn process works. Now, what that means for HCMC if nothing at all, there's a lot of buzz in social media. There's a lot of hype, right? So take a look at the volume. The volume is 2.2 billion. Now, average volume is 255 million. When the lawsuit started, the stock started spiking up. As you can see right here, looking at the volume yesterday, it was 3.3 almost 3 billion 3.03 .03 billion today's volume we have still two more hours to go and today's volume is 2.1 billion so there's a lot of hype but the stock was cut in half in price so yesterday's price was 0 0.0030 today it is trading uh, as low as 0 0.0015 right now 0 0.0019 now what that means now let's take a look at the one month chart and you'll be able to see how the stock spiked up it spiked up from 0 0.0006 level 
to all the way 0.0049. So a lot of money if you bought the stock. And once again, it's an OTC stock and it has been talked on the social media channels for a while, but a lot of huge return. Now, people are thinking that the stock can even spike up based on what's the outcome of this lawsuit. But there are two catalysts on the top of that as well. So first one is the lawsuit, if they get the lump sum amount or not. But the second one, the another catalyst is the M HCMC and MJNE partnership. What this uh, means is MJN is another OTC traded stock. That's one of the company uh, that's coincidentally, uh, we found out, some, one of the Reddit users found out that they have entered into a partnership a couple of years back. At that time, HCMC had a partnership with MJNE and they were one of the biggest, biggest supplier for MJNE. They entered into an agreement with Healthier Choice pursuant to which they agreed to purchase $2 million worth of their cannabis consumption Q-Cups and uh, they'll fill this patented technology with the product offering and the distribute to the retailers for the consumption by the purchaser by using the number of readily available vape dispenser. HCMC, it's their exclusive supplier of Q-Cups. And I was able to find this on SEC's website. At present time, the major supplier, HCMC, this is HCMC Healthier Choice Management Corporation entered into an agreement with pursuant with agreeing of 2 million worth of their product Q-Cups and they are one of their major supplier. Now, this is the form that they filed uh, with SEC. Uh, form S1. Now what that means, it's one of the big catalysts and why is it a big catalyst? I'll be able to share very soon. But MJNE recently fi filed Form 8A. That What Form 8A means is they are preparing themselves uh, and why the when the company files uh, 8A, let's take a look real quick. Now 8A form is basically requires by SEC from the company seeking the register securities and must be submitted before the securities can be offered to an exchange. It is also known as the registration of the certain classes securities and the short term registration statement form at 8A is one of the primary forms that the companies need to use to register securities for listing, quoting for the exchange under the Security Act 1934. That means that this MJNE might be ready to be publicly offered on NYSE or NASDAQ in upcoming days. We'll see. I don't know. This is more of a speculation and that's why I'm saying it's a huge, huge risk. So only invest the money if you're willing to lose. But the key takeaways here are SEC Form 8A requires companies to register the security before they can offer this on an exchange something like NYSC, NASDAQ. Second thing is SEC Form 8A requires the description of the type of the securities offered, detail issuance, distribution date, and the terms. And the third thing is this form helps investor to find out about the new securities, requires less time to complete the Form 10. And I was able to find this on SEC's website, Form 8A12G for MJ Holdings or MJNE that they file. Now, if MJNE has more exposure to NASDAQ, NYSE, and, or any other stock exchange, that means its CMC is going to also be benefited because they are in the partnership. So whatever benefit MJNE gets, the HCMC gets a part of it. So that's another big, big catalyst. So there are two huge catalysts uh, that is in the upcoming future, but consider that this is not an overnight play. It's going to take a long time. Lawsuits does not necessarily uh, settle outside the court within a couple of days or within a month or two or nothing like that. However, it could. So be prepared if you're investing in this. This is not an overnight play. We do not know the result. It's a super, super speculative stock. It is OTC traded stock as well. So it can go either way. Once again, it's a micro cap stock. As you can see, uh, 0 0.0019, it can double, it can go back to 0 0.0050, it can go to 0 0.0080. Once again, it's eight time money, four time money, four times your investment, three times your investment, but it's once again a risky play. So do not invest your entire portfolio at all. Make sure that you diversify your portfolio. I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions and some of the analysis that I've done because it looks like pretty uh, speculative stock, widely talked, I got a lot of comments. So I hope this helps you. 
If you like and enjoy this video, click on the like button. It takes me a while to do the research, share this information with you, subscribe to my channel, take a look what we are talking more in terms of other penny stocks and other investments. And I will see you in the next video. Happy investing, everyone.